to ready and go. So for this one then, you're given this quadratic equation and it says what's the value of this expression? Strangely put it in a bracket rather than some 1 over x squared. Maybe that was to throw you off the track. Because obviously this is a very contrived symmetrical expression. There must be some simple way of getting this. Depends whether you spot it or not. If you don't spot it, then you'll just have to bludgeon your way through to the solution for this and feed them into that expression. Obviously not the intention, but you should still be able to do it within the time limit. We'll just try that. So let's just batter in with the quadratic formula then. So what's that going to be? Negative of b, that's 3, plus or minus the square root all over 2 times a, that's 2 ones are 2. So it'll be b squared, which is 9, minus 4 times 1 times 1 is 4. So there you are, 3 plus or minus root 5 upon 2. Didn't take that long, feed it into this. That means we need to square it. Well, it's not too bad squaring that. I'll just be over 4 then, because squaring these two parts will just be square the first, square the last, twice the product. Square the first, 9. Square the last, which will always be plus, so it'll be 5. And when it's plus, it's plus, and when it's minus, it's minus. Plus or minus twice the product, which is 6, root 5. So that means you've got 14 and 6, both divided by 2, as there's this. So that'll be 7, plus or minus 3, root 5 upon 2. That didn't take too long, now I need 1 over it. So what's 1 over x squared going to be? Well, that'll be the other way around. That'll be 2 over 7 plus or minus 3 root 5. Right, rationalise that denominator. So multiply the top by its conjugate, which will be when it's plus, it's minus, and when it's minus, it's plus. So you're going to multiply both by its parts by 7 minus or plus 3 root 5. Well, the denominator is going to become the difference of two squares, no matter which of those you chose, when it was minus or it was plus, when it was plus or it was minus, when it was minus it was plus. So it'll just be the difference of these two squared parts. That squared is 49. This squared will be 9 times 5, which is 45, which gives you 4. So it's the top, I'll just put it down, 2 times 7 minus or plus 3 root 5 all over 4, so that just becomes 7 minus or plus 3 root 5 upon 2. So these are the two things which have to be added together. And of course that says when that's plus, that's minus, and when that's minus, that's plus. So add them together, we'll knock out the suds bit, and just leave you with 7 upon 2 plus 7 upon 2, which is 7. So that was easily within three minutes, I think, doing that. But that obviously wasn't the intention here because you've got this symmetrical expression here, x squared plus one over x squared. Now you could rearrange that to read x squared equals because that would just be x squared equals three x minus one. I wouldn't want to take its reciprocal though and add it on to make this expression. But you could then say, oh, I could get one upon x squared by dividing throughout by x squared. If I could, and you can, because you know that x equals to zero isn't a solution. Whatever x is, it's not zero. So you can quite safely divide by x squared. And then as soon as you think, oh, I'm going to start dividing by x, then, well, that expression should ring a bell now. If you take x plus one upon x and square it, then that gives you square the first, Square the last, and very nicely in this case, twice the product just becomes a 2. So that's the route I'm going to follow. I'm going to follow the route whereby x squared plus 1 upon x squared is the square of x plus 1 upon x, but less 2. But I've still got to get x plus 1 upon x, but I can get that by dividing. That's what should have rung a bell when you thought, oh, I'll divide by x squared. Divide by x in this expression and you've got x minus 3 plus 1 upon x equals 0. So there you are. x plus 1 upon x equals 3. Now you can take this and feed it into that. So that says then that 3 squared minus 2 
is equal to the thing that you wanted in the first place. And 3 squared minus 2 is 9 minus 2, which is 7. So that was a much more satisfying way of getting the solution, a more elegant way, an algebraic way, rather than just going through that brute arithmetic for a couple of minutes.